right now from today's TMJ4. This is Live at 10. Right now at 10, mourning the loss of a radio legend. Gordon Hinckley passed away Monday at the age of 88. Listeners love Gordon Hinckley's voice, and he made a name for himself after five decades of broadcasting right from this building. And tonight, colleagues remember Hinckley and how he helped build the legacy of 620 WTMJ. Annie Schultz joins us live from one of those studios. Annie, he means a lot to everybody around here. He really does. Carol and Steve Gordy spent decades here at WTMJ commanding the microphone, coming to you in your car, your living room, your kitchen. You turned on the radio and he was the guy you could trust. And he's the man who'll be remembered as one of the best in the business. Good morning, this is Gordon Hinckley at WTMJ in Milwaukee. Gordon Hinckley graced the airwaves for more than 50 years, making a name and a voice for himself in the News Radio 620 WTMJ studio. We're very glad to be working here tonight. And Gordy was a hard worker. He hosted a handful of shows, Wisconsin's Weekend Morning News, Invitation to Beauty, and the ever-popular Ask Your Neighbor. I wonder if anybody could help me um, tell me how to get preparation H out of a pair of wash and wear slacks. <laughs> Spend me for, for giggling. But there was more to the man than the microphone, according to Jonathan Green, who was the afternoon host when Gordy was waking folks up in the morning. He had people around him, and he carried it all, but he, he was the glue that put it all together. And he was the voice you could believe in. Gordy's career took him as far as the National Radio Hall of Fame, the first from Wisconsin to be inducted. Steve Wexler is now our executive vice president of operations. But years ago, he was an intern when Gordy was the big name in the building. What made it great was that Gordy was such a, a wonderful man. He, he treated me well when I was an intern, and he treated me well when, when I became his program director. A man who entertained us, educated us, and made us feel like a member of the family just by turning on the radio. Gordon Hinckley was 88 years old. And Gordy was a devoted family man. He's survived by his wife of 70 years, their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Stephen Carroll.